Australia and Iran have never really connected, but two compelling movements brought them together in Tehran at the weekend. The frequent movements of Iranian asylum seekers to Australia and the movement of Australians to Iraq in support of terrorist groups. The Australian Foreign Minister also held talks with her Iranian counterpart, Javad Zarif, on Saturday. The two discussed the threats of Islamic State militants who control large territories in Iraq and Syria. We had a detailed discussion about our respective roles in Iraq and the support that we're providing to the Abadi government to build capacity within the Iraqi security forces. I detailed Australia's involvement. It is proportionate, it is limited um, by time, and most certainly limited to military training and participation in coalition airstrikes. Bishop outlined Australia's concerns about its citizens leaving to join the militants and the intelligence that Iran can offer to mitigate the trend. Given the level of exchange between citizens of our two countries, given some of the challenges that we have uh, in terms of human trafficking, it's been decided to continue our discussions at an official's level through a consular dialogue. The two ministers decided to hold further talks on the issue of Iranian asylum seekers not deemed refugees by Australia. There are Australian citizens. Uh, indeed, there are citizens from about 80 or 90 countries around the world who are being drawn to this conflict. And it is in our national security interests to prevent Australian citizens from leaving, to prevent Australian citizens from taking part in this conflict and to uh, defeat Daesh. And we will do that through our support for the Iraqi government. Australia has been negotiating with Iran on an information sharing arrangement for a number of months. But the diplomatic push intensified following Sydney's siege in December, in which two hostages and the gunman, man Haran Monis, were killed. Bishop brushed aside concerns that the informal arrangement would strain relations with Israel and the United States. Around 100 Australians are believed to be fighting for ISIS or related groups in Iraq and Syria.